are taking care of the Antioch Garden. We're going to be pulling out some of the summer plants that uh, are past and getting ready for some winter seeding and putting in a cold frame for uh, some greens for the fall. So here at Antioch, uh, we are really focused on uh, reducing our carbon footprint as a school. Um, so our main focus right now is uh, sustainable transportation um, and making sure uh, that we have these bikes available to our students. So right now we have about four bikes in our fleet, which really isn't that much. Um, so what we're trying to do is get more bikes up and running for students to be able to check out. And hopefully that will reduce um, the carbon footprint of Antioch. And the aim of the program is to provide bikes for the Antioch community to do errands or commuting while they're at um, Antioch, um, just as a way to reduce our gas emissions and emissions from transportation. And my other aim is to provide education for people in terms of bike maintenance and caring for their bike and really becoming self-sufficient in their bike as a vehicle. So for 101010, a class here at Antioch decided that they wanted to dedicate their time to raising money for green bikes because we don't have a budget now. Um, and the money is to hope to use to make the bikes that we have safer and outfitted for commuting. We hope to raise $1,010, and I think we reached, almost reached our goal. So. Yeah, today we are organizing three bike workshops. Um, the first one is a safety bike workshop um, that's going from 1230 to 1.15, um, and it's basically just uh, regular bike safety, how to be safe um, around town, around cars, um, the right gear, the right setup for your bike so that you can be the safest you can when you're riding around. Um, then we also have a commuter skills workshop which is going to help teach people um, how to commute in their area, how to um, ride near cars and be aware of everything around them. Um, that's going from 1.30 to 2.15. And then um, the last workshop we have is a repair workshop that's going from 2.30 to 4.30. So if you have issues with your bike, then um, we are going to be able to teach people how to fix them. We're not fixing them for people. <laughs> um, we're teaching, we're giving people the skills to fix their bikes themselves, which is really important. We were really excited um, in the Transition Keen group to see this 10-10-10 idea because it dovetails perfectly into the transition idea where you're unleashing the collective genius of, of whatever group of people that you have working with you on this. So um, these movements really evolve organically. Uh, whatever interests, whatever um, work that you get involved in, it kind of comes out of that group of people and what their expertise is and what their passions are. Um, and that that's the same thing with this uh, this idea of 10, 10, 10. It's just do a, a project that makes sense for you and your community. Um, after Sunday, October 10th, 2010, we hope that in our community, this energy keeps flowing, that people keep staying involved and we can really see the people who got excited about this, getting involved in things like um, it might be reskilling workshops or awareness raising events or um, going out to the community and getting hands on work, building more community gardens and putting up solar panels and getting involved in transportation issues. So um, we really hope to see this as just the beginning of a lot of projects to come. One of the things that I love about Keene is there's so many active citizens who are already doing great things, um, but we're really going to have to deal with switching to a different kinds of energy, safe and renewable energy sources. We're probably looking at having to figure out as a community how to preserve the best and the heart and soul of our community, but using lower energy. And we're going to have to think about how to relocalize the economies because um, the global economy is in many ways unjust and is in many ways unstable. And it's going to be really shaken up and stressed by both climate change and peak oil. So the thing that's really great about transition is that it really incorporates the need for us to do concrete actions in the world, to minimize our driving, to eat in different ways, to connect with one another in our communities, 
but it also acknowledges that we have an internal life that is really um, a good barometer for how we are in the world and, and how we can act in the world and is also a source of great creativity and helps us connect with one another, which is really going to be critical in the coming years to learn how to form tight communities that can really, um, so we can really rely on one another as we create um, healthier lives. Well, I like to live in a world where I can trust what I eat and I can, and I can feel good that, that it's a cycle and it's sustainable and it makes all kinds of sense and that's what bio biochar seems to me to be the basic element of that. So that's why I'm, that's why we drove two hours to get to this event. <laughs> uh, I want to live in a world where there are lots of bikes and lots of gardens and uh, we are able to we're able to understand our connection with the earth and with each other and um, really dig deep and live within our communities and, uh, and eat from our own land. Yes. I want to be an inventor. And at school we had these things saying about why I like being 10 and, and on future occupation. I would like to be an en and I said, I would like to be an engineer. I would like to be an engineer because I could make everybody in the world eco-friendly and fit. In my imagination of the future, I'm imagining there'll be nice long branching areas where you can just walk and you'll meet with your neighbors, say hi, you know, just have fun. And I'm thinking maybe there'll be even special tunnels to climb around in. And I want to be an engineer. I've got some pretty good ideas in the snoggin. They're all in there. I'm thinking maybe the world may seem a lot like this one on the outside, but on the inside it'll be so intricately better. I believe that we can make the future better by just doing these little changes, just little things that you can make into habits and slowly become bigger and better and until you're an eco-friendly superhero. I'll play it.